Hello everyone, Andre here with a bit of a strange video, it's just an opinion piece and it's a stream of consciousness thing, which is kind of weird for me, but I wanted to do it because it's about AI in music. And I've steered away from this subject for a long time, I've been asked about it many times, but I tend to try to keep things useful, you know, and teach you how to play instead. But just today I saw a post on John Cooneybird's Facebook, he's my mastering engineer, who has worked with some of the best musicians in the history of music, and he linked a video from Mary Spender. And this all came up because Warren Warner Music Group has signed, so to speak, an AI artist, uh, Nunuri, I think it's called. Sounds pretty terrible right now, but the thing is, is if I project this, uh, this uh, situation 5, 10, 20 years in the future, I don't see how we will not have AI music that is actually great, that is actually comparable to some of our favorite artists. As a matter of fact, that is so close to them that we would have a hard time telling if it is truly a, an unearthed Queen song or if it's an AI thing. And I think I, I don't necessarily agree with it. As a matter of fact, it kind of scares me a bit. But I can't say that I don't see that coming. It will come. And so I think beyond all the emotionalism behind this, you know, the emotional response we all have, some of it is fear and anger, uh, curiosity maybe, but beyond all that, I think there are really two main problems. The first one is that we're afraid that we won't be able to tell. It's basically the thing you hear all the time. Oh, soon enough, we won't be able to tell if that's really Al Pacino or not. So that's the first thing. And the other is that the amount of AI and the quality of AI that is going to be produced will eclipse and basically destroy and make extinct real, true human art. That's, I think that's really where the game is played. And um, I have to say, I'm not too concerned. First of all, for the first thing, it is true that soon, I think, we'll be able to hear a song, not only a cover sung by another person who's dead, right? But actually we will be able to come up with uh, a new Jimi Hendrix song, which will sound remarkably similar in style to what Jimmy would do. So similar actually that we wouldn't be able to tell. How do we fix that? Well, to me, that's extremely simple. Think about it. How many fake Picassos are out there, right? And yes, it's true that once in a while one sneaks its way into a museum, but usually we know which are the real Picasso or the real Monet or the real Basquiat and which ones are the fake. Even artists that are easier to copy, we can tell them apart. Why? Well, because we have curators, we have experts on the subject. So if tomorrow you come up with a new Queen album, I know it's probably fake because I know all the Queen songs, I know all the timelines, I know when they went to, into whatever studio, I know the sound of each studio, and it's very hard to fool me. And it's going to be even harder to fool the carer for the Queen legacy, even after they're all dead. And so that's kind of easy. The other way is probably going to be some kind of blockchain thing. Like when you have an NFT, there's only one of those, right? So maybe the old real catalog will be again, encoded with some kind of, I don't know, code or whatever it is that will certify that this is the actual music by that artist and then everything else is a simulation. Now, I have personally no interest in a Queen fake simulated song, but some people might. Maybe there will be something in place for the likeness. Maybe it will be expanded not only to the physical likeness, but also to the likeness of the voice when released with an intent to fool people, right? So if I say, here's a new Queen song, I won't be able to do that because I don't hold the rights to the Queen name, for example. And then I have to say, well, this is a new song in the style of Queen. So that's not really a concern for me. For the other thing, which is AI artists pushing real musicians and artists out, that I'm afraid too is going to happen. That's kind of inevitable. At a certain point, the big labels and companies will notice that, you know what, once we have this AI guy or girl all coded out and figured out, then it's going to be a lot cheaper to make records and singles with this one than with that one. That one needs a studio, it needs instruments, and they need uh, producers and engineers and traveling and limos and food and all that kind of stuff, right? And they want to keep part of their merchandise, whereas we can just make a bunch of t-shirts with this lady's face on them and we can sell them and... She's not going to complain, right? It's a piece of software. And so that's going to happen. That's going to happen and it's going to make things a lot harder for real musicians. But 
it's also true that it's always been very difficult for musicians. It's it was difficult for Little Richard. I can guarantee that. Uh, it was difficult for the Beatles. It was difficult for ACDC when they started out. It was difficult for a lot of classical musicians who maybe make the orchestra, but a lot of them don't. A lot of them can't be solo uh, musicians and so on. So it's very difficult for everyone. It's always been, and it's always going to be a matter of finding different avenues. Spotify doesn't pay or Tidal doesn't pay. Well, they do pay, but now you need a new number of, of copies and of listens because the, the world has changed. But the top artists, they still make money. And so there will still be top artists then. And the great thing is that the technology that's pushing them away, which is the AI thing, corresponds to another technology which we can all use. We have these phones we can use as cameras. I have this platform, this YouTube thing, where I can reach people. I can still make my albums. I can still pay for my studio slowly but surely and put out my records and there's somebody out there that listens and without the technology i can guarantee you i wouldn't be here and a lot of people who are worried about ai also wouldn't be there instead of worrying so much about ai you know what you should do probably go out if you don't play yet go out and buy a guitar or buy a piano or learn how to play to to use logic or pro tools or, or ableton live whatever it is go out there practice practice for a few years learn study and then create come back in a few years time put your music out there whatever platform will be here in four or five years who knows and uh, we'll be willing to listen to it we'll be waiting for it we'll be actually ready to support you because we understand how difficult it is to do this to be a musician and uh, and to do it in a world that's con constantly changing but i also think that people will eventually kind of go back and return to what it is that truly creates a connection, right? And so I don't think we should be too worried about it. And finally, I want to say one more thing, which might be controversial. There might be some great things coming out of AI, right? I'm a big, huge fan of Vangelis, and I love Hans Zimmer. I love a bunch of, you know, Morricone. I love uh, soundtracks. But I, it's not beyond my imagination that some software somewhere sometime will be able to create incredible soundscapes, incredible pieces of music just by analyzing picture now one side of me doesn't want that to happen because i you know i equate effort to results but another part of me says you know what people were complaining about electric instruments people were certainly complaining about synthesizers when they came out and i find great joy uh, playing with my synthesizers and creating sometimes music that's a bit more electronic and electronic music has got a bad rap for a long time and now when you compare it to ai now electronic music seems the most human thing possible. So who knows where this goes, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would actually say that if you don't want to think about it, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to have an opinion on AI. AI can be something that's happening out there and you can still consume the records you love. You can still support the artists you believe in and you can still reward um, uh, you know, creativity and you can still reward the trust you have in an artist and that's always going to be there. It's going to be hard, but that's always been. So that's my two cents. I'm sorry for the rant. Sorry, sorry for the long video, but I just don't want to see people worry so much about it. I don't think it's warranted. And if the big companies do things you don't like, you don't need them. We actually don't need them anymore, which is great. Unless you are a big, huge star and then you will reap the benefit of those big companies anyway. So we all win. And vote with your wallet, maybe stop consuming all this stuff online and maybe invest in a good instrument. Stop watching my videos too. I'm, I'm not excluding myself here. Don't watch my videos. Instead, go out there and play and make music, play with people, play for people. And um, it's never going to go away. All right. See you on Friday for some more lessons.